hello and welcome back this is Rachel here the girl with the Pilates mat and this is my little vlog um, I do try and answer all your questions on film when I can so I'm just doing a little catch-up today but I had a request come in this week which is quite a quick simple one to do so I'm gonna do that now and that's from lady called Patricia who asked um, how she could prevent getting cramp in her hamstrings um, wanted to know why as well and um, yeah that's something that happens quite a lot actually um, I do find generally when people are new to Pilates um, they can get cramp in their hamstrings it's quite common in men and women and there are a number of things to consider with that so I'm probably coming at it more from the exercise perspective uh, rather than nutrition but I'll tell you what I know on that as well um, but from an exercise perspective you can get cramp in the hamstrings generally because you are not used to doing the movements and sometimes in fact a physio friend of mine said that often people get cramp in their hamstrings because they're weak in their glutes so that's quite an interesting thing isn't it and we certainly in Pilates we do try and work through all the muscles in the body so sometimes it's a, just an indication that that's an area that maybe it does need strengthening uh, and it's not used to the activity and that might be why you're getting the cramp um, so that's something to consider it's generally nothing to worry about it's just not very nice is it really when you're getting cramp it's very unpleasant um, so uh, yeah so generally that would be from an exercise perspective would be a sign that the muscles are not used to the activity maybe they need a bit more of a warm-up before you begin or maybe it's just you haven't done this movement before or not for a long time and so your body's reacting against it and I certainly I've had people come into um, my classes who have got really really bad cramp when they first started and three months later they don't get any at all so you know it's it's something that you can deal with and you you, you can get rid of as you get fitter um, and then from a nutritional point of view uh, it can be a sign of dehydration so make sure you are drinking plenty of water uh, and it can also be a sign I'm told of lack of uh, magnesium potassium and calcium a nutritionist a friend of mine mentioned to me that so you might need to look into that and see whether or not any of those things are lacking in your diet or maybe increasing food in your diet which will give you more of those um, and as to what that is obviously I'm not a nutritionist so I'm not going to reel off lots of things for you to try but that's something that you can look at if it helps I drink coconut water I have things I have a really wide variety of vegetables in my diet lots of dark green veg I find that's really really good um, but yeah you can look all that up there's plenty of advice out there on that so I think that answers the question yeah so why do you get cramps well why it could be general weakness in the muscles uh, which will improve with more exercise making sure you stretch uh, as well which we do obviously we do in our Pilates don't we we do stretch and strengthening and then check out your diet make sure you are drinking plenty of water and that you've got a uh, magnesium calcium potassium in your diet so you might need to just look at your diet make sure you're eating a healthy range of foods all right I hope that helps you and uh, yeah do send me any questions and I'll do my best to answer them and if I don't know the answer I will find out for you all right so have a lovely day and I'll see you soon take care bye bye